Time for another catalog video, and this time we're going to look at one that not as many people would be as familiar with compared to the Sears Wish Book. This is the Eaton's 1969 Christmas Catalog. So, Eaton's was a large department store chain in Canada, which was actually bigger than Sears here at one point. Eaton's went bankrupt in 1999, so at least there's still Sears Canada. Oh wait, never mind. Like the 1956 Sears catalog, this is another one I got from my mom to take a look at, though she actually used this Eaton's one as a kid as she was actually born when this one came out. So, if you want to be a creepy ballerina in the dark, you need the Mary Jewel Box! It's just like Mother's! Mother! Mother! Blood! Oh, good! It's baby new! That's so much more fresh than baby old! Uh, yeah, this price is a real jackpot. Guess if they had made it $1.11 cheaper, it would have been a little too on the nose. Pick her up! She has the feel of a real baby! Creepy. You know, you can hardly tell that this catalog came out in the 60s, right? I won't make fun of these old creepy dolls, because, I don't know, I guess that's mean to the dolls or something? I shall call her Minnie and Me. Swingy? Yeah, get your kids into multiple partners early, I guess. As seen on TV? Whoa! And here's everyone's favorite doll with the name that just rolls off the tongue, Gadabout? The little 12-inch baby doll who comes ready to travel in her own carrying case with her own wardrobe. You know, this is how you should always travel with your kids, <laughs> just shove them in their case. Alright, here we go, some 60s Barbie. Let's talk. Talk and Barbie and Stacy make playtime more fun than ever. These have little post-it markers on them because these were things my mom either ordered or wanted back when. I bet this stupid bath time baby got all kinds of water logged and was really annoying for parents back when. And here's the circle of kids. Get your kids into taking care of fake kids so that they can take care of real kids real soon. Oh, and here's a 60s Vomit Play Kitchen set with that ugly yellow that people thought looked good for some reason back then. And you can tell the 70s are on the way since we've got the wood paneling doors on here. I love that they even had play versions of that white cookware with the blue flowers on it. Ooh, and we can even get some Betty Crocker cake and cookie mixes and Bizquick! Mmm, 60s cake. Probably questionable quality. Oh, here's a toy that was still going into my childhood, Light Bright. Man, just everywhere you look in here, the 60s is slapping you in the face. I always find the old food packaging interesting to look at. So here we've got Bran Flakes, Corn Pops, Special K, Honey Smacks, and Corn Flakes. No frog on the Honey Smacks back then. I guess it's just two weirdos with pom-poms or something. Not really sure what's going on there. And I like seeing the ultra old Toucan Sam design there. They're edible! Maybe. We have Rice Krispies with super old design pop, and then Sugar Pops with some guy who's going to lasso you and make you eat them, I guess. And then Creepy Tony the Tiger who's licking his lips at you. And more blue flower dishes, those were around forever. And then you can curl yourself right before you call up Batman on the bat phone. I love that this one even comes with a switch box, it's kind of amazing. And there's some more of that super appealing 60s yellow with this feather touch typewriter from England. Are you into sewing or crocheting? Well, you better be! Oh, I see they really predicted all the food delivery services back in 1969, you know, with the Jeep that just carries your food in the back of a trailer. And this is some of the oddest fast food with, like, grapes. Um, maybe that's corn, apples, cherries, I think. Some Del Monte stuff, like fruit cocktail. No usually what you'd call fast food, but all right. And a nightmare clown. I remember having a box like this around when I was really young. 
Fisher-Price stuff. No one remembers Fisher-Price. Got the creative coaster, the call someone who cares phone, the, oh no, deformed horse toy. Yo, what's up, Doug? Oh yeah, I definitely remember these phones still being around when I was a kid, too. Andrew never forgot the day he discovered the formula. Snoopy, why oh why did you pop out of that box? And here's some plush softies to be cuddled, no other purposes. And this looks like a slightly less creepy version of that death panda from the 50s. Okay, I thought this was like a weird pink striped skunk or something, but no, this is saucy pajama squirrel. I guess they just liked pink skunk stripes on a bunch of these things, so this elephant with the stripe is Jumbo the Ridem Elephant. That's a pure face of joy right there on that kid. Jumbo is also one of those classic wiener wheeled elephants. I think this dog's tripping out, man. And then here's the magnetic play desk where, I don't know, you have to hammer the magnets onto the board. Look what 88 cents buys at Eaton's when you order any three or more, 98 cents each when ordered singly. Well, at least there's like Play-Doh and Slinky and stupid barrel monkeys and other things not worthy of color. And everyone's favorite, Hypnoblocks. Then we got some other ultra hip things like Huckleberry Hound's mini card game and, you know, Cowboys and Indians. Everyone still likes that. Thought this was Piglet first, but this is just Piggy Bank mini card game. Sure. And then you can be the not Beatles or Monkeys or whoever those guys aren't with your stupid drum set. And here's Walt Disney's wonderful world of color featuring Mickey Mouse with these uh, projector slides. You can still actually get these, but they're only on Disney Plus now. Got some toy vehicles with Buddy Yell and Tonka. You better watch out for that bottom dump. So when you get tired of construction and farming, why not just drive to space? Be sure to stop by Shell to get plenty of gas before you drive to space. And here's some non-dinky brand dinkies with the Matchbox Race and Runs. I bet a lot of these things though with the giant tracks it'd be like your parents would help you set it up once and then never again. Hot Wheels! Fastest metal cars in the world! Rev them up and make them race! Definitely remember having some of those pullback Hot Wheels back when. Alright, time to go to the fun farm, I guess. I have seen pedigree farms that'll turn you white! Could this guy be any more of a redneck? <laughs> and here's the playing with your life parking garage. And here's some toy horses and guns, and you can see a lot of the horse toys are marked because my mom loves horses. And here's the horse toy that she got from this very catalog, the one with the wagon, though I guess the wagon didn't hold up quite as well as the horse as she said that fell apart. Chemical magic. Yeah, I think there was a lot of that going on in the 60s. Don't know if you should be really encouraging your kids to get into it right away. Ooh, a movie projector. That's kind of fun. You could get reels of the Three Stooges, Lassie, Mr. Magoo, the Munsters, Yogi Bear, Flintstones, Popeye, Alvin, Moby Dick, Mighty Might, Casper, and Bozo. Here's some old-timey robots with the Zeroids, battery operation rated automatons from the planet Zero, their purpose to serve you at work and play. Well geez, I bet it wasn't worth the trip coming from the planet Zero just for that. We got solid state walkie talkies and play reel to reel tape recorders, kinda love seeing that. And you can get TDK tapes for it, pretty sweet. Lego, what? No one's into Lego anymore, <laughs> not funny. I like that this is a Lego truck that's also hauling Lego, I guess. And then you can kind of hypnotize people again with some of these Spirograph designs. Uh, who will ever forget the great Donald Duck vs. Bozo War of 1969? <laughs> Sock it to me! War Cloud? Why? <laughs> you stupid little idiot. I remember playing some of these old table hockey games back when, but none that had a scoreboard raised above it. That's pretty fancy pants. And there's all the teens with their super old looking jerseys. 
Oh boy, a Ouija board! That's some good old-fashioned fun. And that's the ugliest pool table you can get. Ugh, fun and games! Look at the fun she's clearly having as she can barely stay awake. And nothing says more fun than a headache. Poppin' Hoppies? Oh, come on, stop naming your kids' toys after drug use. What's going on here? Is this guy trying to use the force to stop his son from beating him at pool? Boy ball! No girls allowed with that ball! Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew, these are books based on those CW shows, and my mom, though, was interested in these Fury Horse books. And this Christmas season, why not light some candles by some super flammable fake flowers? Oh, this is like the poster you get in the middle of a old Christmas tree. You know what, I kind of like these weird looking lights, though all these lights are probably those ones where if one went out, the whole string went out. Uh, it's the Christmas birds. For some reason, I always really liked putting birds on the Christmas tree. And these are like the last known photos of these Christmas lights. And if you ever see this Santa in your place with his fake chimney, call the police. And are you ready for more of that 60s green vomit color? Cause here it comes. Oh man, this is like cool and cooler here. Is that a wig or is her hair just that fake looking? We had Wayne Gretzky in that 80s catalog and now we've got the Gordy Howe skates for men and boys in the 69 one. 69, dude! And here's the Montreal couldn't be bothered with all the colors in the logo jersey. Gas revolver! Like a real! Oh, and here's some sassy 60s sleepwear for you. Wouldn't want to skip over this because I know some of you be mead. What the shit is this outfit? These socks look like they're just designed to make you slip and break your neck. It's not the 50s anymore, so some of these things are actually quite short. But not this stuff, though. Back, back to the 50s. The holiday season calls for glitter and glamour. Well, where? Young ideas and winter warmth. Um, not really sure how warm those get-ups seem. <laughs> Real fur says luxury, which is code for asshole. All right, don't get too excited. Here's some old black and white photos of 60s bras. And for when you're in the mood to wear nothing but 60s green vomit pantyhose and nothing else, I can't imagine that's a convenient way to hold your purse. This is just like from the Ministry of Holding Things Stupid, isn't it? And do you have a cartoon in your family? Here's all the clothes to get them this Christmas season. Jogging is my thing, Snoopy. That's one of my least favorite Charlie Brown specials. This is such a large amount of work and doesn't really show you properly what the clothes actually look like. Oh boy, you can be the cord lord. Choose your Christmas poison, the real straight shooter cowboys or the super dork Christmas sweaters. <laughs> Make a serial killer seem less threatening in a dumb sweater. This is like another Star Trek away team gone wrong here. The underwear revolution is here, finally! Clearance, please get rid of these ugly night shirts. We don't want them anymore. And here you go, the perfect jacket for squinting at the sun. Spock, we've never looked worse. Well, maybe that time we wore Nazi outfits. Shut up, Spock! Hey, you getting tired yet? Oh yeah, 8-track players. I love it. We got some more old food here, but I really don't recognize any of that. <coughs> well, I guess at least with that ugly carpet, she can pretend her doll's like stuck in some forest or something. It's a total colorama! Now for the first time, throws in a kaleidoscope of colors! Oh man, I think she passed out from an overdose of 60s. <laughs> from the uncomfortable collection comes this crap sofa. Decorative ideas? Just wrapping a stack of pillows? Why? Here's some hi-fi record stereos and then the mono phonograph that still plays stereo records. Yeah, we definitely started the era of electronics need to have wood paneling on them. 
Have yourself a wood panel little nightmare. Oh man, I always hate when I got those little mini tapes stuck to my forehead. I'll show them. I'll record everything. Got some more reel to reel players or them new fangled audio cassette players. Save $30 on the 23 inch Viking with Wrap It On and new modern style cabinet, which is of course wood paneling. And on this, you can watch the Santa Annoys Little Girl show. And then we got some portable televisions with some kind of flimsy looking handles. I bet a few of these broke off and ruined some people's televisions. Okay, yikes. This is like the true 60s nightmare here. Oh boy, that's appetizing. Get the hell out of here, Chef Buttwipe. Eaton Century Special with wooden bowls? What the hell century is this? This Christmas, give him wood. <laughs> Hey, I recognize that fork and spoon. Sugar, bread, milk. Good thing they wrote that down. Are you sure this is enough food for the two of us? Yeah, I could really go for a lamp and wish for a better Christmas than what this catalog's giving me. Well, that had to be everyone's favorite light, the drunk idiot bar light. Oh, I didn't know they had Red Bull back then. <laughs> Hey, do you want the most styrofoamy looking bread in the universe? When you buy this Bell and Hal Super 8 movie outfit, you get everything to shoot and show home movies. Oh, sweet. I should be filming this on Super 8, shouldn't I? We got another toy that's still surviving till today, even the Viewmaster. Though they didn't believe in making them look that appealing back then, I guess. So we got some titles like Peanuts, Flintstones, Flying Nun, Bambi, Pinocchio, Bugs Bunny, Flipper. I always forget that Flipper's that old. Tarzan, Winnie the Pooh, Snow White, Lassie, Donald Duck, and Cinderella. Give a gift of memories. Give a gift from Kodak. I do love looking at all these old cameras, and of course we've got the modern ones going on here with the wood paneling. Old typewriter, modern typewriter. Never sleep again with the evil dolls. And yo, Doug, you want a doll for your doll? Whoa, stand back. This is man stuff. Anyway, here's some more food of varying degrees of quality, like chocolates, and then some ultra cheap looking Christmas candy, or just a box of apples. Apparently though, you couldn't get these apples delivered in Canada. They're just for people you knew anywhere in Britain, including Northern Ireland. We got some more candy. Some of this is probably quite crap, and some of it's maybe all right, like the chocolate, but who knows from the 60s. There's evil Mr. Peanut before he turned into a baby and then got old enough to drink again. <laughs> oh boy, fruitcake, that looks wonderful. Ahead of their time, because their watches. <laughs> Wait, so that just means your watch isn't set right? Anyway, we're out of time. AK, the video's done. Bye. The Diamonds, my God!